Little Little Brand Brand Tar Pit! Ew! Today we're adventuring in the center of LA, really close to the Hollywood sign. And there's something that you wouldn't expect seeping up from the ground all around us. See this right here? It's tar. The same stuff they use to pave the roads that you drive on every single day. So crazy, there's just these cones that mark new areas where tar has come up. Right here in the La Brea Tar Pits is one of the only places in the world you can see it seeping up naturally from the ground. I like that the cone says sticky. So instead of being hard, it's ooey, gooey, and very sticky. We started at the museum where they had a whole bunch of the fossils that they found here on display. They also had a bunch of hands-on activities for the kids. A laboratory where we could watch the volunteers actually cleaning the fossils and some fun exhibits that talked about all the different types of animals that they found here. We also learned in the museum that Native Americans used this tar as glue to stick their stuff back together when it broke. They put it on things like shells and arrowheads and bolts. This area is named after the Spanish word that means tar, which is brea. Now we're exploring outside where there are several tar pits that you can walk around and look at, including one where they are still actively digging and removing fossils. Don't fall in. That's the worst kind of swimming pool. You see the fossils that are actively down there? Those strings represent areas, so it's like a grid. So they write down exactly where they found it, and how deep it was, and what side it was on. Okay. Over the years, scientists found millions of fossils from different types of animals. Including giant sloths, mammoths of course, pygmy mammoths, American lions, and even camels. One of the fossils that they found most of are the skulls of dire wolves. Over 1,600 of them. The dire wolves were attracted to the smell of the dying animals stuck in the tar. They would get as close as they could trying to get a bite to eat without getting stuck. Of course, that didn't always work out because sometimes they got stuck in the tar themselves. This is Lake Pit. You can see the water that has risen up around the tar. Did you know that carnivores got stuck in tar more often than herbivores? That's because when smaller animals got stuck in the tar, the bigger carnivores were attracted to the scent of the dying animal and got stuck in the tar themselves. The bigger the animal was, the more surface tension the tar had to grab onto around their legs, so the harder it was for them to get out. Most of the mammoths they found here at La Brea were actually found in this pit, pit number nine. Okay, they found 27 Colombian mammoths in this pit. How did so many mammoths even fit in here? Hidden trap. See how leaves and twigs conceal this tar's sticky surface? One false step in this hidden trap can take down a 12 foot tall Colombian mammoth. You'd become a fossil too, stuck, if no one was around to pull you out. I can totally see how that would happen. They'd come through, they'd walk over the twigs and leaves, and boom, down they'd go, and they'd get stuck. Oh, wow. look at the bubbles, look at the bubbles. If you watch closely, you can actually see the tar bubbling. And that horrible smell that we can smell around here is sulfur that escapes from the bubble when it pops. It smells kind of like a mixture of gas, sulfur, and like asphalt or paint when you're first laying it down. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Ew. Are you recording? Yes. Okay. Protected and displayed. <laughs> There's a spot over there where you can stick a stick down in the tar, but it's right over tar. Most of the mammoths they found here at La Brea are at, we're at, bleh, okay. <laughs> this area is named after the Spanish word for tar, which is Brea. <laughs>